So we need to add a sky to this object. Now, this is something that I've been working on recently, kind of putting together a bit of hmm, a time lapse of me creating this building. So make sure you like and subscribe to that. We're just going to talk about three methods in bringing a sky or setting up a sky. So I've got a camera set up like this. Very quickly, the most easiest one is if, you're, especially if you're using cycles, this works really well. If we go over into the world tab, where it's car background color, click on the yellow dot. I'm just going to press S and that's going to add in our sky. Um, here we've got different versions of the skies, um, but within cycles you use whatever that one says. And obviously here we can change the elevation and rotate around. Now, if you're getting like a full bore um, shot like this and the sun's really blowing out, you can always come over into the render settings. If we come down into film down there, exposure, we can bring that down to like 0.1 and then that'll kind of like neutralize it a little bit. So just a little bit of a tip there. Alternatively, there's something that we could use is Real Sky. So this is an add-on that you can download. Uh, link in the description for that. And we've got a whole bunch of skies that we can use. So, uh, but this is just an image that we can use and we can put in the background. GG. Probably not that one. Let's find a different one. <laughs> and we can see that here we've got kind of like a wide variety of images that we can put in backgrounds. So they're not HDRI. They're just an image that we can put in the background for a very cheap effect. Not cheap as in poor, but cheap as in uh, render intensiveness, lessness, weakness. What is render? I don't know. <laughs> so there is, yeah, there's a pretty big, kind of like a whole bunch of night sky. Let's throw a night sky in there. And if we bring if we bring that in, rotate Z 90, we can scale that puppy up. And then we can always bring down our elevation to two. And we can even go down to zero if we really wanted to. And then just render. And we can see that as an example. Or even kind of put this nice sky in the background. Now, alternatively, if we don't want to go down this route, we can use true assets, which is a whole bunch of HDRIs and materials. Now these are all from M and CG. That's right. So if we were to delete this and then just throw it actually into the world, this will actually light the world as well. So it's really up to you on how you actually want to light your environment. So I've given you three ways. There's obviously a myriad of other ways as well, but if you want to see how this building goes, like, and subscribe to the channel. And also, what's worse than raining cats and dogs? Hailing taxis.